subscribe IN News English YouTube channel to all the big news of the world. A press release from Warner Bros confirms the film will be available for one month and premiere in theaters in international markets on December 16. After the one month period is over, the film will play exclusively in theaters, the world has learned at this time. Following that, the film will enter a traditional windowing period. That means it will head to digital retailers like Amazon and iTunes, before likely finding its way back to HBO Max. Unlike Mulan, Wonder Woman 1984 won't cost anything extra beyond the monthly subscription fee. HBO Max subscribers will have the opportunity to watch the film directly from home. The streaming service costs $14.99 a month. The move comes as uncertainty grows over whether theaters will remain open as cases surge across the United States. Even if they do remain open, however, it's uncertain whether people will actually attend screenings. This way, Warner Media can boost its HBO Max subscribers and still give people around the world, where HBO Max is not available, the ability to watch it in theaters. To provide a comparable, a little over 4 million fans in the US enjoyed the first Wonder Woman movie on its opening day in 2017, Jason Killer, Warner Media CEO, wrote in a blog post, acknowledging issues brought on by the pandemic. Is it possible for that to happen again this Christmas with Wonder Woman 1984 between theaters and HBO Max? One of 2020 last big blockbusters, Wonder Woman 1984, will simultaneously be released in theaters and on HBO Max on December 25th.